WFNN. Headline News Update. Good morning, folks. Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of very sunny Delray Beach, Florida. This year, 11 a.m. update, and currently have a bit of a mixed bag out there. That mix is coming from the Russell, which is up 9, and the New York Stock Exchange, which is down 19. Otherwise, the other U.S. indices are trading to the upside. The Dow's up about three tenths of a percent. That would be about 91 bucks. Three tenths for the S&P, $11. Six tenths for the NASDAQ. We want to focus on the NASDAQ today. That's about 78 points. Semis are up 22 or seven tenths percent. Gold's up 14 bucks. That's also seven tenths to the upside. Silver's up uh, six penny. No, hold on a minute. Let me change this. I got the March contract up there. Give me a second here, and we'll see what silver's really doing. It's up uh, seven cents, trading out of 2023. Light sweet crude is up 37 pennies. Natural gas is off a cent. 30 year treasury down four ticks. She's trading out at 124.02. Let's try to make hay out of what all these markets are doing. We begin by taking a look at the ES mini. The ES mini still consolidating with inside that daily profile. Found support at the center, which is uh, of a bullish structured profile. Uh, you can't bust them down. Maybe price is going to try to make a run for 4039, but that's going to all be up to the NQ. Uh, we got the ES mini, uh, the ES mini. You got the spot volatility, which is below its 50 day exponential moving average. 50 day right now, printed out at 2043. That's a bullish indicator for the uh, S&P. The NQ, also inside a bullish structured profile, it looks like it wants to uh, test the uh, 12408 level. But in order to do that, you don't see it on this chart, you'll see it when we uh, do the uh, Trader's Ed show. But the green off center change line on the daily time frame that is resistance at 12,318, 12,319. That's where price needs to close above to then get us up to the 12,408 level. If you take a look at the US dollar index, uh, it's got an A to B equals CD pattern, a bearish reversal candle at day's end would confirm a sell the D point pattern. However, price is trading about the top of its weekly and daily profile, so the signal would really be neutralized. Um, if we take a look at uh, gold, Still has a TD9 count bottom with the U.S. dollar index moving a bit lower, gold moving higher, consolidating with inside its profile between the range of 1815 and 1856. Silver, you don't see it here, but it does have a Rhodes momentum indicator signal that's been triggered. And if we get a bullish reversal candle today, that will confirm a Rhodes momentum indicator bottom pattern. When it comes to the crude oil, light speed crude is consolidating with inside its daily profile. That ranges from 74.40 as support and 79 and a quarter for resistance and uh, natural gas consolidating with inside that daily profile its support levels at 247 and resistance at 286 another consolidation going on in the 30 year that's between 12327 and 125 and a quarter folks stay tuned for the trader's ed show but if you have to start your thursday please have a terrific one and join me tomorrow early eight o'clock as well we'll be taping the trader's ed show have a terrific thursday folks